Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. Some fast facts to start the week. Chum pricing is still very hard to determine. Exporters are finding the European market for salmon is very poor. Chinese secondary processors are still reluctant to buy as they report sales at below cost in an attempt to keep inventory moving and workers busy. As the fishery builds momentum and containers of chum are packed, there will be an increased urgency on the part of the packers to move the product. At that point, we will get a better feel for pricing. North American Vietnamese pangaceous prices have been unstable for the past few weeks as Europe continues to be slow. The Vietnam Association of Seafood Exporters and Producers report that pangaceous exporters are in financial trouble based on early 2012 sales. The Vietnamese Development Bank was reluctant to support pangaceous processors and farmers for the first quarter of 2012 but has since pledged that what the VASEP is calling a financial rescue package. The, package, uh, the VASEP claims the industry needs tens of billions of Vietnamese dong to stabilize the industry. The development bank will support processors, farmers, and bad debt. They will also provide loans for larger companies to buy smaller ones to avoid bankruptcy. The overall effect to the North American market is yet unknown, but prices are still unstable. Now on to sockeye salmon. Buyers may recall the 2010 Canadian Fraser River sockeye run. An estimated 25 million fish went up the river. This is the highest return since 1913. The record-setting sockeye return caused chaos in the fishing industry and sent sockeye prices plummeting. There are early reports showing very large numbers of sockeye already returning to the Columbia River, which are catching the attention of processors. 2010 was also a record-setting return for the Columbia River, and if the return continues to be strong, it could be a repeat of 2010. As a point of reference, 30,690 fish were counted at the Bonneville Dam on June 24, 2010, and on June 26, 38,756 sockeye were counted. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.